check this out. NASA releases a new photo showing a chain of snow-capped mountains stretching across a dark section on Pluto. Scientists believe the bright material highlighted on the image is primarily methane, which has condensed as ice onto the peaks of the mountain range. The data obtained using the multi-spectacle visible imaging camera on NASA's New Horizons spacecraft. It shows the mountains are approximately 280 miles long and about 140 miles wide. Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Sounds like a nice place to go skiing. We are looking at a little bit of light snow here in southern New England right now. It's not going to amount to much throughout the afternoon, but certainly there could be some slick spots here and there. This is more of a nuisance snow than anything else, at least for us here in Rhode Island. In fact, you can see some darker shades of uh, purple in here across Jamestown and into Newport and Middletown on over into Little Compton. Some slightly heavier snow right there, but really all of this is on the light side and it hasn't really accumulating accumulated anything more than a coating so far and probably not much threat tracker for today tonight and into Saturday remaining at that low level despite the snow and despite some increasing winds that we will be seeing a little bit later in the afternoon upper 20s to low 30s at the moment 20, uh, 30 in Providence 30 in Newport out on Block Island 30 degrees they've had a coating of snow out there on Block Island got a bit of a coating of snow on the grass but the roadways they're okay right now. We're not seeing anything on the roads or collecting on the roads. Hurricane Barrier Cam we had a few flurries there in Providence. Temperature in Cumberland, 30 degrees. They've got a calm wind up there. Westerly, 29. They've got a wind from the north at 10 miles an hour. Had a gust to 17 miles an hour so far. The winds will be strengthening throughout the afternoon as this area of low pressure off the North Carolina coastline uh, strengthens and works its way on off to our south and east and passing really far away. But we're going to be grazed with the snow, which we already are, and we're also going to be seeing some wind as well. We'll talk about the snow amounts and the wind in just a second. Future cast through the evening hours calls for some light snow, especially out across southeastern Mass, tapering off to flurries during the evening hours and into the uh, Friday rest of the evening. We might actually be seeing the skies clearing out by around 9 o'clock or so. So for this afternoon, we'll see some light snow tapering to flurries from west to east and do expect an increasing wind temperatures in the low to mid 30s. Could be seeing some wind gusts by late afternoon up to about 35 miles an hour from the northeast and north. Tonight, we'll see some early flurries and then skies should be clearing out overnight low temperatures around 25. Wind still busy gusting up to 30 miles an hour. Haven't changed the accumulation map at all. Still looking at a dusting of snow across most of Rhode Island. Up in the northwestern corner of the state, you might not see much in the way of flurry activity at all. But down here in South County, you might get just a little bit more than a, a dusting. And there could be a few slick spots out there. So keep it, keep the uh, speeds down out there on the roadways. Roads are just generally wet. One, maybe up to two inches across Cape Cod. Could see as much as uh, one inch or so in uh, New Bedford. As far as the winds go, we'll be seeing them pick up throughout the uh, late afternoon and evening, gusting up to 35 miles an hour in Providence, perhaps up to 45 miles an hour along the uh, south coast of Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. This is all gone by tomorrow. We are looking at temperatures to be climbing into the upper 30s and then cooling off into the low 30s throughout tomorrow evening with some clouds arriving. Now on Sunday, we'll see some clouds around, maybe a flurry in the morning, and then temperatures will uh, be about 42 in the afternoon. Look at Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 50s, getting into the mid-60s by Wednesday afternoon. If the winds are just right, we could be up around 70 Wednesday afternoon. Of course, the coastline will be cooler. Tony Petrocker is in later today with your updated future cast on Eyewitness News at 5 p.m. So we are looking at some light snow, more of a nuisance than anything else, but it certainly could be some slick spots. So just be careful driving as usual. All right, thank you, TJ. Breaking news now, the 